who is the who is the best player you've ever seen? For me, best player is the one that changed the game. The one that you will go out as a young fan and you will do what he does. For me, Ronaldo, the phenomenal, when he came out, was the, different. The Brazilian, Brazilian was different because I remember I was young, young boy, and uh, when I saw his games, and on that time we didn't have digital platform. We have we had only YouTube, so we could see on YouTube these tricks, these dribbles, these goals. So I remember all of us, we, we were on YouTube and YouTube you didn't have even on your phone. You had it on computer. So in the, we were in the school, we were going in the, how do you say, the, the room full of computers and we would go there and watch YouTube and study their tricks, study the dribbles and, uh, and we would go out and try these things. Mm -hmm. And for me, he changed it. He was football. He, he was not playing for. He was football because everybody wanted to be him. Today, I see a lot of players that score a lot of goals. They, they do amazing things, but they don't change the game like he did. Because I don't think they go out and they do things like the players do today. The young generation don't go out and try to do that. When Ronaldo came, they went there and they tried to do whatever he did. So what was totally different. I mean, I would say that he was absolutely sensational, but obviously had a very short career, comparative to, say, the other Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, yourself. In fact, the phenomenon has said about you that he really respects you for the longevity of your career. And I, I think there is a special thing about you, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, the ones who've had these long, long careers. Yeah. That is an extraordinary achievement, isn't it? When so many other players, that they, is they, continue, they get injuries. How do you say? They, continuity. Yeah, like I mean, that a, shows to long me a, term. It shows to me a, a steely discipline about what you, what you do. And a bit of luck. You've got to be lucky you don't get bad yeah, injuries. Yeah. But also a discipline to do that. And yeah. a hunger that you want to keep doing it. It's a big discipline. Why? Because you can have players that had an amazing year and then falls out. You can have players that won the World Cup, then you don't see them anymore or you don't remember them. You can have players that won the Champions League and you don't remember them. I didn't win the Champions League, but they will remember me. I'm not worried. <laughs> but in the long term, you have players that played 15, 20, 20 years and they kept that high level. But then we talk different. How long did you last? Like, let's say it's a different, different, different situation we talk about. When we talk about the proper player, the individual player. Obviously, we have different lifestyles, we have different profession, we have different mentality. For me, I stopped now three months ago. I came to 41 and I still played on top. I went to visit to America, I came back. Normally you go to America, you don't come back. But I went there, I came back and I proved numbers, age is just an age. You can still play depending how you take care of yourself and how you approach things. Obviously, you need to be intelligent because the player I was when I was 25, I'm not the same player 35. So if you're intelligent and you can manage that situation to change your game, because obviously you have to change the game. I'm, I'm not the same type of player when I was 20, 25, 30, and you go up. You have to play different. In the, in the list of all-time great footballers, where do you put yourself? I mean, now I have to speak as a fan because what are we judged after? What we win, collective. What we win, individual. I'm talking about individual quality as players. Just the skill, without winning anything. Yeah. I think I'm the best, without joking. I'm the most complete player that ever exists. Skills and all this. If we talk about, I didn't win the Golden Ball. No, I didn't win. I didn't win the Champions League, no. If those things matter, no, I'm probably not on that list. I had the honor and luck to win 34 trophies and uh, collective trophies. Some individual, because the collective comes, the individual comes with the collective. So if the collective does good, the individual will do good. So, but when we talk pure, only the player, the abilities, no, I think 100%, no joking. See, I, I love that about you. I would love every striker that's ever played for Arsenal to have that mentality. Yeah, they had their chance. Yeah. That you have to discuss with Wenger. <laughs> I'm going to come to that. 
I'm coming. Okay, up. okay. Let me ask you first of all. I'll no, but I think you. it's not about being arrogant and that. I think if so, you self belief, talk, surely. It's confidence. Backing yourself. But also backing it up by I believe it. Listen. I mean you love Muhammad Ali, right? Wait, I will do yeah. another example. Yeah. When I say I am God, you think I'm joking or not? You tell me. I'm not joking. When you, I come on the field, I feel like that. You feel like God? I feel like God when I'm on the field. An omnipotent power. I feel untouchable. And I feel I will smash everyone that comes in my way. Mm. That is the mental part. Let's say boxing. Tyson Fury is the champion. Mm. If you ask me if I could smash, I would say yes. I would, I would you smash could beat Tyson Fury? In my head, yes. But when I come in the ring, he would knock me out after two seconds. But the mentality is, yes. I can. Yes. But in the ring, he would, he would eat me alive, mm. without doubts. But my mentality is, I can. Muhammad Ali said, who I know is one of your, your heroes, he said, if you talk the talk, you've got to walk the walk. Yeah, 100%. And he did that, you, you did that. I mean, for all the trash talking and the boasting and everything, the truth is you delivered on the pitch. If you hadn't done, then the you're a clown. Does, the no, but then you're a work. clown, I agree. Yeah. You're a clown, you don't do that. You have to back up what you say. Mm then it's better to be silent and, and not saying nothing. But, but I'm that type of guy, I believe it. I have, I have a vision and, and I will arrive there. And I'm 100% I will because I'm a winner.